Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about why letting them go works. So it's really important to let go of the people in your life that you've dated, that no longer show interest in you, um, the people that, um, you know, your exes, you know, those people, and also the people that you may have been interested in and they just rejected you. You know, you've got to let these people go. And um, the reason why you need to let them go and the reason why letting them go works is because once you let them go and you stop trying to basically force yourself into their life, or it could be, you know, um, a situation where you're trying to um, make something happen, make something work when they're not really putting in any effort. The reason why letting them go works and kind of walking away from them or doing no contact with them it works because um, if they care about you, if they really care about you, they will start making more of an effort once they realize that you're gone. Or once they realize and feel that you're that you're absent from their life and that you're no longer going to try and make it work. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually start putting in the effort because there are some people that you'll meet, that you'll date, that you will have a relationship with and then break away from. Or there'll be some crushes that you have that just don't feel the same way and don't care about you, don't have any romantic interest in you, and you'll just never hear from them again if you walk away from them, if you do no contact, and if you let them go. Being with someone like that and trying to hang around someone like that isn't a fun experience. It's not nice to be around someone who doesn't actually really want to be there. And I think we've all had some kind of experience like this from, you know, in one way or another. It could be with a friend, it could be with someone who we're romantically interested in. Um, it could be, you know, even with a family member that doesn't really care about you that much. And, you know, the, the conversations are kind of awkward. It's a bit jilted. Um, there's lots of, like, awkward silences, basically. And it's simply because, that you know, they don't really want to be there. And perhaps for whatever reason, you're, you're not really wanting to be there either. And um, when you're trying to hang around with someone um, who doesn't want to be there, especially a romantic per a, a partner... Um, it's not nice, like it's not a good experience to have, it's not um, very stimulating basically. Um, and that's why you know you have to let those kinds of people go, the ones that are not showing interest in you. Um, because if, even if you do for whatever reason get them on a date or you hang out with them, it's not going to be what you hoped it was going to be, it's not going to be what you, you know, yeah it's not going to be what you expected, you know the reality of it is going to be very, very different. And sometimes, you know, I think we have the, these like fantasies in our head of how we want things to run, how, how we want to play things out, especially if we do happen to meet up with someone who we really, really like, but that person may have rejected us or not really spoken to us that much. Um, you know, we, we, we think that, oh, maybe I'll be able to convince them with something I say or with what I do. It could be, it could be with the way I dressed or the new haircut that I get. Perhaps that's going to make them see me differently. When in reality, you know, it's, it's not going to change anything. Like, if they don't like you, if they're not interested in you, there's nothing you can do about it. And you've got to come to this conclusion. You've got to realize that, hey, you know, this person doesn't like me. And just because I like them and I feel a certain way about them doesn't mean that it's going to be reciprocated. Doesn't mean that it's going to be there. And I think sometimes what confuses a lot of people is when we start talking to someone and they do seem interested at first and then you may go on a few dates with them and then they slowly lose interest. Or it could be that you've been in a relationship with someone for a few years and suddenly they lose interest. What you've got to realise is that everything is subject to change. Um, and, you know, sometimes things do... People's feelings do change. You know, just because they are in love with you today doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be in love with you tomorrow. Just because you had a great first date doesn't mean that they still feel that way about you. And people's feelings do change. You need to realize that. You know, they're not, they're not always going to love you at the same level. They're, sometimes they may fall completely out of love with you. Sometimes they may love you more days than others. Um, and some days, you know, perhaps there's, you know, there's no change. But what you got to realize is that people can fall out of love with you. People can lose interest in you. You know, these things are all subject to change. And I'm sure you've had that experience as well where your feelings have changed about someone. So, for example, let's say like on your first day of school, you developed a huge crush on someone. And then when you got to know them, 
you realize that oh this person's actually not that nice this person's a bit of a bully or perhaps you know you just don't you just don't feel the same way about them anymore like your feelings change and that's the same with everybody else everyone else's feelings can change too which can be a bit scary especially if you do get into a relationship and you're like oh no this person may actually fall out of love with me one day but you've got to allow that to happen you know being in a relationship is a, and you know putting yourself out there basically is a very vulnerable position to put yourself in you're putting your heart on the line but it's also one of the most rewarding relationships that you'll ever have in your entire life the relationship that you have with your uh, romantic partner your future spouse or your current spouse whoever it may be um so even though it's an experience that doesn't feel you know even though it's an experience that may change that may end um it's ultimately worth it because i think it's just my personal belief basically that I mean, everyone comes into your life for a reason even those people that are very fleeting and just disappear sometimes um, and it could be even a long relationship that kind of dwindles and ends you know everyone that enters your life I believe comes into your life for a reason to teach you something and you can always look for that lesson if you're willing and open to look for it and even if something only lasted a day if something only ever even lasted an hour there was probably something in there that taught you something even if it's about something that you don't want even if it's something that you don't like like it may be the fact that oh I I just discovered that I hate being rejected that really sucks you know that if it's just that then that's still something that you've learned about yourself and learned about life learn about and there's I made a video recently basically on uh, talking about this kind of thing which was basically I think it was called um whoever you date is never a waste of time you know in, even if things don't work out like relationships you know teach you something even if it's a short relationship but the most important and valuable message that I could ever give you is the people that love you and care about you will stay so when you let them go you actually get to see how they feel about you you actually get to see how if they care about you or not because if they love you and care about you and they still have feelings for you they'll come back they'll start putting in more of the effort they will um, contact you they'll talk to you they'll speak to you if they care but if they don't, then you've got your answer. You realize, hey, this person just didn't care. This people change. This person changed their mind about me, and that's fine. I've changed my mind about people in 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 you know in all sorts of situations. You know, it may not be a romantic one. Like another example might be, um, when you're at work and you make a new friend at work. Um, perhaps they're they're new and they come in and you're like, oh yeah, this person seems really great. And then after a few weeks of spending time with them at work, you realize that hey, you know what? Actually, this person's a bit lazy. They're not that great. They've got a kind of a negative attitude. I don't really like it. But you know, you, you, we we change our mind about people all the time. Um, and you've got to realize that these relationships that you have in life are going to change. And just because they seemed interested once doesn't necessarily mean that they're always going to be interested in you. So you have to let go of these people that don't value you, that don't respect you, that um, aren't showing interest in you. You have to always be seeking out people, seeking out friendships, seeking out connections, relationships with family members, whatever it may be, colleagues, workplaces that value you and want you there right? It's really important that you find the people in your life that do want you there. Now, it may not be the case that you agree on everything with these people. It might not be that you have the perfect relationship with these people. But if they're always there and they're always willing to make it work, then, you know, those relationships are the ones that you need to keep around. Um, because you care about them, they care about you. And that's the best kind of situation to put yourself in, especially, especially romantic relationships. You need to find someone who you care about, who you're attracted to, and they feel the same way about you. And that's the people, that's the people that you need to date. You need to keep on finding those people as well. Because I feel like sometimes people give up. They're like, oh, I dated this one person and, um, you know, they, they, they liked me at the beginning and then they lost interest and now I'm heartbroken. Uh, I've just decided I'm not going to be with anyone now. You know, some people do have that mindset and they've only been on like, let's say like four or five dates in their life and they've already given up. You know, you've got to keep on going out there. You have to keep on putting yourself out there. You've got to um, keep on dating until you find that one person. Because like I say all the time, the good news is, is that you only need to find one especially if you live here in the West and you and we, where we kind of um, put an emphasis on monogamous relationships. You know, you only need to find one person to be with. You know, you only need to find one person who you're attracted to, who you really like and who feels the same way about you. And that is completely, entirely 
possible for you you know I've seen men and women out there that you know are not exactly the best looking or they might not even even have the best kind of personalities but they're in relationships you know if if, if, if you just look out into the world and you just kind of watch people go go somewhere where you can people watch basically and just look at all the different couples you know and just realize like hey they're in a relationship if they got a relationship then I can get one too they seem happy I can be happy too. You know, if anyone else has done something like find a partner, find someone that cares about them and loves them, then you can too. You're no different from them. You're, you know, they're a human being, you're a human being. Anything a human being can do, you can do too if you allow yourself to have that confidence in yourself and belief that you can do it. Because, you know, it might be the case that you believe that you can't find anyone. And if you have that belief, then, well, that's exactly what you're going to get. If you think you can or you can't, you're right, and that's a quote, quote by uh, Henry Ford. So if you can't, if if you feel like you can't find a partner, and you're always going to be unhappy, and you're always going to be single, then that's exactly what you're going to get. But if you believe that you can find a relationship, that you can you can find a healthy relationship, that you can find the right person for you, then you will. It's all about your beliefs and what you believe is true for you. Um, so you know, go out there into the world, find more people to date, keep on dating, keep on going through the numbers. You may have to kiss a few frogs in order to find your prince or princess, but keep on doing it until you do. You will get there. Um, my personal um, kind of thing that I kind of tell people to do is to try and aim if you're single to go on like about two dates a month. Try and do that and just keep on doing that consistently. Sometimes you may there may be a dry spell where you don't date anyone for a few months and there might be, you know, a week or sometimes where you date five people or something like that or you meet five different people who you could potentially date. So sometimes there are dry spells, but aim at least to try and have two dates a month and try and find someone who does care about you, who, who you care about as well because obviously it has to be a mutual thing. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.